So free, this guy is with a free state project. What's your name? Dan Garthwaite. I'm an early mover to the free state market. I moved in March. Best move I ever made. Uh, I went up there uh, November. I dropped what I was doing as a 10-year defense contractor. I dropped what I was doing to help out Ron up in New Hampshire. Uh, the free staters opened up their doors for everybody for Operation Live Free or Die. Come up. We dropped everything we were doing with our movement. Help out Ron. We figured he was our last chance, maybe, to affect the federal government. We saw where the balls landed. Now we're asking everybody to take another look at the Free State Project. The Free State Project originally was a movement of 20,000 people to move to New Hampshire. We have 500. We've already gummed up their legislature. We have 47 reps running this year. We have three, news, three local newspapers making a difference, two television cable action shows, one nationally syndicated radio talk show, Free Talk Live. And, um, so what is what is the Free State Project? What is the, the sum of what it, what it does? The Free State Project is basically uh, the statement of intent, which means that I solemnly swear to uh, affect the maximum effort to reduce the size of government. It, it's plain and simple. The, the message is just to get you here. Once you get there, the Free State Project dumps you off, and you find a huge network that's already been laid. The groundwork has been laid for what you want to do. You have support for activism. You have support for uh, politicians running for state rep. Um, Lobbying, uh, we've got a major decrim movement um, with just uh, one man. He's already flipped half the half the state legislature up there. Hmm. So what? Uh, I'm just curious about the, the lobbying. What what does that uh, what does that involve? Like so you, so you're involved in lobbying as an organization or bill reviewer? It's such a novel concept. They uh, actually publish their bills before they vote on them, and then they have two public readings up there. So for two chances for the uh, general public to show up, grab a mic. Anybody can do it. I used to do it for. I used to drive up from Rhode Island, saying, "You know what? I don't think this bill's. I don't think you guys should pass this bill." Hmm. Doing the homework, we've already uh, become influential. Where they'll call us and ask us how how should we proceed on this? Okay, that's interesting. We'll have to check that out. Thanks for your help. Uh, thanks for coming out to the Revolution March. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's a free souvenir for the Revolution March. I like having questions asked. <laughs> So far, I've been in such a, such a role going, hey, yeah, you should yeah. look at New Hampshire. Yeah. They already got the upside down power structure. It's uh, no income tax, no sales tax. Uh, all the money is local. Most of it's your local. All state. of New Hampshire? All of New Hampshire. There's no sales tax, no income tax. So your money's local. So politics, local, pol local politics is supposed to be king. If you decide to look up at the state house, the state house is the uh, third largest legislative body in the world, second largest in America. There's 400 state reps, only 1.5. 4 million New Hampshire's. It works out to something about 2,500 constituents for the average, uh, you know, state so rep. representation for all. Representation for all. Highly accessible. They list their home phone numbers. You can go on the website right now, call them up. I used to call them for Rhode Island. Say, hey, what are you doing? So you're trying to get this uh, to spread throughout to other states as well, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, we've been at this, like I said, we've been at this movement for five five years strong. And uh, we've already gummed them up pretty good. Okay. So. Right, sounds good. Keep it good. Good work up.